Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello, welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a small shop haul. You guys, I adore doing these videos. In these small shop hauls, I will be sharing with you a variety of different and goodies I've come in from different small shops in the community. I really try hard to support small businesses and to try out a variety of different shops. It's mostly, if not totally, diamond painting accessories or diamond painting related. Um, and I, I, like I said, I just love supporting small shops. So I'm gonna link to all of these shops down in the description box below and would love for you to take a look and see if there's any small shops that catch your eye, if they have any goods that you wanna take a look at for yourself. I'll also link to their social media platforms. That's a really good way to stay up to date with like when releases are happening or um, uh, sales and, and, and that sort of thing. So uh, I'll link to all those. And if you happen to own a small, sh small shop or know of one that you'd like to see me try out, please send me an email or leave me a comment or, or send me a message on Instagram and I will be sure to take a look and see if anything catches my eye. I actually have a number of new shops and or new products um, from shops that I do know in this unboxing alone and I'm very, very excited to get into it. There's a variety, there's pens, there's wax and putties and there's minders, lots of good stuff today and trays. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna shift this up and out of the way. And we will actually, let's go ahead and take a start with, I have a package here that has already been partially opened. I was actually very worried at first because I thought, oh no, has, um, like did, did what was in here fall out or get damaged? Thankfully not, uh, which is, I just feel very fortunate for because there's something really special in here. This package is from Agnes Little Minders and they make beautiful handcrafted polymer clay minders with tons of detail as you'll see. I own a few and they are some of my most um, prized <laughs> minders in my collection. Um, they are they are expensive because they are handcrafted, but they are absolute works of art. And I just, every once in a while, will treat myself to one, especially if they catch my eye. They do sell out incredibly quickly, just so you're aware. Um, so <laughs> hope your little dragon brings you joy. Here's their business card. Clay minders. Be sure to follow them and maybe join their Facebook group um, because I believe there's a discount code in there that always helps out. She always in includes a packet of tea and this is just a, a sucker that I give to my kiddo. <laughs> and then of course this which I'm very very much looking forward to. Oh see it did get a little bit crushed in shipping. Hopefully our little dragon friend in here is none the worse for the wear. Can I? Let's try with tweezers instead. Yeah there we go. Just pop that right off. And here's it is packaged really carefully. Oh yay! Our dragon friend is okay. Okay, so this caught my eye immediately. I have nothing like this in my own little collection, but look at the detail on this dragon. There is a coordinating backing. Uh, so this backing is maybe a little bit thick for if you're putting this under a diamond painting so you can switch it out for just a regular flat magnet. This is originally designed to be like a needle minder for sewing, but you can totally use it for diamond painting as well. Gently slide that off. Um, and what you can use minders for is to hold back the plastic cover of the area you're working on, but the important part is just the level of detail. She handcrafts these. If you follow her on Instagram, you can see her process of creating these from like even just like mixing the clay to get certain color combinations like these and the wings. But I just thought it would be so cute to have a pretty winter themed one. So I'll have to see if I have something I can use this with before, before the winter months are truly coming to an end here, but so cute. Like I said, best idea is to follow her on socials just to, a little fuzzy there. <laughs> I just stay up to date with when her releases are happening. They truly do sell out in seconds. And so there have been times when I've missed ones that I've really badly wanted. But it just, you know, that is a little bit the name of the game when it comes to small shop stuff is just that um, usually small shops are just owned by like a family <laughs> or a person. And especially if something is handcrafted the way that is, um, it truly is just going to take a lot of time to create those those items. And especially when they're so beautiful like that, they are going to take they're going to sell quickly rather so. Anyway, this next order that I have, I don't think I needed to rip all this plastic off of. Totally fine, whatever. <laughs> I 
Oh, maybe I did to get down to this where it opens. This is from a new to me shop. And I've been meaning to try them out for a while, actually. And I'm very excited to have gotten in my first order from them. This is from DP Gal Creations. And I have been, like I said, they've been on my, on my list for a while to try out their trays. They have 3D printed trays. And um, they, they had a couple that kind of caught my eye. I'm trying to remember. There were multiple sizes available when I looked. I believe I grabbed a couple of different sizes. All right, so now that I've hoax smashed my way into that, oops, Ooh, little, look at all those candy goodies. Oh my goodness. That's a fun set of freebies. All right, coffee crisp. They're, they're based in Canada, just so you're aware. Um, but I don't think the shipping was very prohibitive. But a lot of times if you're shipping internationally, like from a different country than the one you live in, sometimes that will get expensive, just, just so you're aware. All right, so thank you for your order. And then this is, oh, this is a minder. So cute, how perfect timing is that too? Adorable. And then yes, looks like I did get two different tray sizes. Okay, so I think that each, each color had like the option for maybe four different tray sizes. And um, I think I got the, the largest and the second largest, I'm pretty sure. Because I, I like to multi-place, so I really wanted larger trays to try out. But they do have smaller ones if that's your jam. All right, so DP Gal Creations. This is like a galaxy purple tray. It came with a stopper here on the end. And it looks really cleanly done. It has the name on the side, shiny flat bottom. I like that color purple. It's got a little bit of a color shift to it, which is fun. And it's got a little sparkle to it, but it looks really clean. And I will definitely be trying this out on my next whip and check. So that's the thing is I don't just buy from small shop shops or new to me small shops. I actually do like to try out their goods as well so that I can give a practical opinion too. Now I feel like they didn't have a ton of selection of trays available in this larger size. Um, like I didn't have any pink. <laughs> I'll also go back and see if they ever put in some pink trays or something like that. But I, so I don't think that, yeah. Okay. So this is just a basic, it's a solid gray color, but like I said, I really wanted to try the largest tray option. DP Gal Creations here on the side. Uh, the walls are, they're not too high, but they're hot. They're, you know, maybe like a centimeter high. Again, it looks really cleanly cut. Oh, that's super shiny. It has a slightly different style stopper on it. I like that. Ooh, super smooth and shiny on the bottom. Different filaments for 3D printing will sometimes have different effects. So anyway, this was, like I said, I believe the largest size that they had available, and I believe this was the second largest. These are both, that you can tell they are slightly different, like with the, the stopper, the spout style. So I'll have to try both of these out. These are from DP Gal Creations, new to me shop with 3D printed trays. And I am very much looking forward to giving those ones a try. So yay. <laughs> Next up, I have an order here from Galloway's Gallery that I was just thinking as I was pulling this one out, oh, to the mail carrier delivering this package. Thank you. Um, I was just thinking, I was like, I don't remember exactly what I ordered from Galloway's. <laughs> so I'm like, are any other ones in here gifts? I'm gonna have to double check before I show you guys. Galloway's Gallery sells, sells minders and she always sends them in these pretty fabric bags. Um, but she has a storefront that is separate from Etsy and I noticed that she also did open up, she did reopen up a storefront on Etsy with a small selection of goods. So if you prefer to shop through Etsy, you can. Um, but she does have a, a website, like an offsite website that she has a much, much, much larger selection of minders. And just about every theme and style you can imagine. Um, and the price point is really, really reasonable, I think. She packages everything with care. She's very sweet. And is regularly adding new minders to her shop as well. Okay, let me take a really, take a really quick look at these. Okay, that's right. Okay, so these are all safe to show you. So here are the minders that I picked up. <laughs> this one was a freebie. This one I thought was so cute because as I was hiding under our por my porch because I love you, I'm obsessed with this, with this movie that this is from. This just made me laugh, whatever sprinkles your donuts. 
And then I got a little astronaut dinosaur because that's what my youngest just really loves right now. And I thought this was just so pretty and so cute. And then this minder I actually got because it matches um, a kit that my friend Kate just had released with Diamond Art Club called Clementine. And the colors and the whole vibe of it just matched it perfectly, which I thought was so much fun. It's so cute. And then this bee was, did I say already? That one was a freebie. Um, Jeanette is the owner at Galloway's and she almost always throws in a freebie like that, which I think is so much fun. All right, so those are from Galloway's Gallery. Let's keep going, you guys. Uh, speaking of newer things or, or new to me things, this is from Butterfly Effect Wears, but does not have a pen inside, you guys. <laughs> I am so excited. Butterfly Effect Wears has started created scenting, creating scented putty. And they do sell some of it separate from their pens during their weekly drops, but right now they do theme their um putties after like their pen releases each week which i have a pen from them to unbox so i'll show you guys later but well i didn't necessarily want to get a whole pen this week i thought oh, i want to try one of their new putties <laughs> so i'm excited for this okay so we still get some freebies here butterfly sticker and some candy and then there is their putty mint to be dot dot putty from butterfly effect wear. so yeah they had a mint to be pen themed drop and they've included some instructions. So you can pause if you want to read that. But I am so excited. I love using putty in my multi-placer. And so I'm really looking forward to having a new putty to try. Okay, it smells really, it's a bit strong. It smells really strongly of mint. I thought that was cute. So yay, a new putty. Um, this is from, like I said, Butterfly Effect Wears. And they are right now releasing like themed putties with that, that kind of match with their pen drops, which I think is really fun. Okay, so um, what should we do next? And let's go with the other new, new to me product here. So uh, this is from Oh Snap Crafters Cafe and they recently launched a product called Scented Glue Dots. And I, okay, here I have to be honest, I haven't tried glue dots in my single placer in a very long time and i am just curious to try it again like part of the reason that i haven't gravitated towards scented or sorry gravitated towards glue dots is because i do like something with a little bit of scent to it when i'm working like it's just a fun addition and so uh, when i saw that O Snap Crafters Cafe, which is one run by the Uncrafty Crafter, Jenny, um, had released these. I was like, oh, those would be kind of fun to give a try. So I decided to pick up a couple to try, actually. And I may give one of them away at some point. But they came in this cute, like, winter-themed bag. We have some candy and some sticker freebies. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, good things take time. And then here are some how-tos on how to use these which this will be helpful for me because I have not used regular glue dots before, but oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I like the little way that it looks with the colors and everything. So yes, yeah, so oh snap dots, scented sticky dots in the scent, unicorn farts. That's such a funny scent name. I love that. I think that may be like a thing that she she has used before as like a scent for her, for her um, she has some like, um, snappable uh, minders that you can get like scented oils in. And so I think that might be a thing um, that she's done before, but look how cute these are. So these are glue dots. How many are on a sheet in each one? Let me take a look. Okay, so they do have the extra film on top. So five times, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so 40. We're getting 40 glue dots in a package and I am definitely curious to try these out. Let's see, do they smell? They do smell, <laughs> they totally have an, it's not a heavy scent at all. It's a nice light scent, but that's so fun. And I kind of like, look, there's different sizes and stuff like that. Kind of customizable. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. I guess this is a good excuse for me to come outside of my comfort zone and try glue dots on my single placer. Like I don't see using glue dots on my multi-placer, but Definitely in my single placer, so we shall see. You'll have to watch me. You guys will have to watch me. I'll probably be struggling through it in my next whip and chat. <laughs> it's 
but oh well, it's good. It's good to stretch myself outside of my comfort zone a little bit, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna open a package here from Randa's Crafty Corner. And uh, this is gonna have, I'm sure, some putty in it. Um, I regularly use the scented putty from Randa's Crafty Corner, my multi-placer. It's been my go-to for a long time, but I also, as you've heard me say, I do try to stretch myself and be trying like a variety of products, especially new products to the scene and stuff like that. Um, so, but I can't resist, like when she releases new scents, I like to always pick up some more. So I picked up three scents in this order, vanilla and pomegranate, almond coconut milk, and sweet Moscato. So let's give these a sniff. Yeah, that's not overpowering at all and it totally does smell like Moscato. So you get like a brick of putty here. And Randa has it down to a science. She's been doing doing scented putty for a, quite a while. Um, and I do really enjoy using it in my multi-placer because a lot of different putties and waxes, let's smell this one, almond coconut milk. Okay, I love that. Oh my gosh, that might be one of my favorites that she's done before, almond coconut milk. I love that. <laughs> and then vanilla and pomegranate. Ooh, that's really nice too. Definitely more the pomegranate than the vanilla. But anyway, um, a lot of times, whether or not a wax or a putty works for you is going to depend on a few different things, your climate and what kind of diamond painter you are. And so you're not really gonna hear me talk about like, I think this company has the best of this particular product because I think it's so subjective. I'm not looking to pit small shops against each other at all. Um, I just, I want to try a variety of, of different things and see just what makes it more enjoyable and easier for me to diamond paint. And that should be your goal too, I think. So be mine. I got this needle minder from uh, Randa's Crafty Corner. And yes, we are a little past Valentine's Day. I had ordered this a while back, but I'm slow to do these small shop haul videos sometimes. But I just thought this was such a cute minder, a little bee. It's so fun. So anyway, all that to say that you see a variety of like <laughs> putties and waxes and stuff here. Uh, and that's on purpose because I think I just want to share with you guys the variety of like what is out there. What are some different things that you can try? And there might be any number of different of different things at play that help you make that decision. But I'm not going to be out here telling you like this company is the best or anything like that. So anyway, now we're getting into pen mail. The joke always is that if you get to a small shop hall and there's not pen mail, that that is actually a cry for help. So <laughs> we have some pens to get into today, of course, and a little pile of pens over there that I'm not getting into today for sake of time that are judging me and that I'm, I'm wishing that I could get into. But this first pen, you guys, this is from a new to me shop. I'm very excited to be trying this one out. Um, my, some of my pen friends, <laughs> I think it was Jamie. Jamie Paints had gotten a kit for, or a pen from this shop. And I think maybe Jacqueline and Emma had also recommended it. They're friends over on Instagram and fellow pen fanatics. But this is from Shimmering Canvases. And I was looking at their listings and they have this really beautiful rainbowy pen um, that I really like the look of. And there were a few different like styles of rainbow that you could choose and it can vary a little bit depending on just what colors they have to work with and how the wood takes to it and i think i was able to pick my shape and stuff and i just liked i liked the look of the one that i saw but just saying here's their branding shimmering canvases for the diamond painting addict drills and pens yes they have drills too cleaned and sanitized okay cute packaging overall you can see the rainbow let's take a look at this out of the packaging though <gasps> Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, it's super lightweight. Is that wood or is it resin? I'm actually, I'm not 100% sure, but it is very lightweight. And I just asked for one that was kind of like the picture and this is what they sent and I'm very happy with that. <gasps> Look at those colors and that color shift. That's so pretty. So this is a little bit wide at the end. Just like maybe I'll use that for my multi-placer end and this for the single placer end because this feels a little more comfortable with my fingers. They did include placers, by the way. So um, the way that you can put placers in a pen is, I don't know if I have a good, good thing to show you on. Um, but what you want to do, I think I have something that'll work, is let's, you want to grab something that's like soft. You don't want to do it on a hard surface, but whatever end, especially the single placer, 
you kind of start with gently pushing it in. When you start to get some resistance there and have a hard time like pushing it with your hands, don't push it on a hard surface. Like find some cardboard or like this is some soft packaging. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, yep. Oh, that just went. Oh, I just went through the packaging. Let me try with cardboard. Hold on. A little piece of cardboard from packaging earlier, or like a notebook with paper or something. And if you just gently, yeah. See, that didn't want to go in there either. I think I'm gonna need to use like a notebook, which yeah, because that just is going right through. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try this off camera. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Maybe I'll show you in a whip and chat. But to push that in, you wanna brace it against something, but you don't wanna push it against something that's so hard like this wood table because I'm afraid then that risks snapping. Like if it, if it pushes too hard, I don't want it to hurt the pen or the placer, honestly. So we will fix that later. Totally not a big deal. I just don't have something handy to show you how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that is my first pen from Shimmering Canvases. It's really beautiful. And they had some really pretty options that were kind of, they were customizable too, which was really fun. So yay. Uh, so yeah, I'll link to their, their shop. And I think maybe, do they have a Facebook group too? I can't remember. This next package, you guys, this is from Lace and Lathe Works, I believe, on Facebook. And this pen blank really caught my eye. They do some Facebook drops kind of a lot. Um, will there be a business card in here? I'm not sure. Nope. That is okay. But this blank caught my eye. It was so pretty. And so I grabbed this blank and picked this turning style. So, wow. I don't think that this blank is still in stock on their Facebook group, but he is regularly turning and dropping new pens <laughs> and he pours all the blanks himself. Again, this is the lace and lathe works. But I'm a sucker sometimes for like a cute captive ring pen, especially on like a non-hybrid pen like this one where it's just all resin and resin colors. <gasps> it's very galaxy. I have some kits in mind that I feel like this could go with. And it's got a little bit of sparkle to it and shine as well. But I like a lot of the shapes that they offer too. So I haven't gotten a pen from them in a little while. So that was really fun to get to pick that one out. And it was kind of a more slender turning where this one is like a medium, maybe on a tiny bit on the thicker side turning. But there we go. Last but not least, you guys, I do have a pen from Butterfly Effect Wears. It's not one of the mint to be pens that goes with this putty, which is why it shipped separately. But this is from the end of January. So <laughs> I've had this one sitting for nearly a month at this point. That's okay. <laughs> but Butterfly Effect Wears does pen drops each Saturday, occasionally Sunday. I think it's this, was it this weekend I saw that they're doing a drop on Sunday instead of Saturday because of family plans. But they'll preview the blank earlier in the week. And then usually like the day or the day before of the drop, uh, they will post all of the turned pens um, so that you can kind of pick which one you want to go for and they number them and everything, which is really convenient. Sorry, this really doesn't want to open. There we go. They also do have options for custom orders, which is nice. Um, but I think it's a little less expensive if you get a pen through a drop with like the, the, the pre-chosen pour and, and turning and stuff. So anyway, we get our sticker and our candy. Let's take a look at this pen. I love that they always use a butterfly washi tape to wrap up their pens. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's right. So this is from their Retro Pastel Drop. Isn't that so 90s? I love it so much. Uh, so this was, I think this was the exact turning I tried to go for and everything, but I loved the fun Retro Pastels, the pinks and mints and lavenders, and then with the white. It definitely reminds me of like that jacket from the 90s or like those, those cups that had the swirls that were kind of in these colors. It has a little bit of sparkle to it as well. I just thought this was way too fun. Like the nostalgia is real. And Butterfly Effect Wears, I swear, there's something about how they turn their pens. They are so shiny, so smooth and shiny. It's unreal. Their pens are just gorgeous, just gorgeous. So you guys, that is this week's small shop haul. I loved getting to share all of these small shop goodies with you. Like I mentioned in, at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna link to each of these small shops below so that you can take a look for yourself. Um, if anything in this video caught your eye, you can go do some shopping. Like I mentioned, some of them, the exact product might not be in stock any longer or 
Um, they may sell out quickly, but I encourage you to, you know, set alarms, try back, follow them on their socials so you can stay up to date with releases and whatnot. Uh, because yeah, a lot of these shops, because they are small shops, just run out of people's homes and stuff like that. They just by nature are going to sell out more quickly. And so I encourage you also to be really patient with small shop owners because I'm quite sure that if they could, they would be sure that they had enough product for everyone all the time. <laughs> but this is just kind of part of what goes into like, handcrafting beautiful goods for us to enjoy with our crafts. So anyway, thank you to these small shop owners for doing what you do. And I'm really looking forward to using, especially like these new to me products, you should see me using in my next whip and chat so that you can watch them in action and kind of get some feedback and thoughts on them, not just in an unboxing way, but like in action <laughs> again. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and maybe discovered some new small shops that you want to try for yourself or some new products you want to give a try. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let you go. If you want to stay up to date with all my diamond painting content, including future small shop hauls, and I do lots of unboxings and reviews of completed kits and stuff like that, feel free to hit the subscribe button down here and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. I'd love to have you here on my channel and my community. Uh, and I hope you have a really wonderful day. Leave any comments, questions, thoughts, concerns, that sort of thing down in the comment section below. And I will just chat with you again real soon. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.